So welcome back guys, it's Kets Coding Playroom here. Today we'll be doing another video on the Christmas platformer. So from last video, we're just gonna go over the code from last video, so let's do that really quick. So this is the checking the player position, like the green flag, this is like positioning the green flag, stuff like that. If it's touching the green flag, then it'll move on to the next level. Platform detection, if it's hitting the ground. Starting a new level. Resetting the player, restarting the game. Okay, this is when you start the game. Um, we have jumping, and this is starting all the controls, like moving and jumping. And then we have jumping. Oh, this is jumping. Sorry about that. This is jumping, and this is if it's hitting the ground. And then this is jumping, movement control, and then this is the move player speed X. Okay. And after that, we have the animated character. Some simple code. We didn't change anything from the last video. Green flag, nothing here. So no, we'll work on that later. Round. We have this code right here. And the spikes, we'll be uh, completing it. We'll be adding some other stuff to it. And trampoline, we have not done yet. So yeah. So without further ado, let's get into the coding. So let's go over here. Let's get this block we coded from last video. So the check player position. So we're gonna get an if then statement. Just put that on top. So if it's touching the color, so like this is like if it's touching the color red or it's falling off the edge. So we're gonna do this. So if we need an or, okay, so if touching the color red, so we're gonna use this little eyedropper and select this red color. Or the Y position is less than one negative 170. So like we have like one level where like you can fall off. So we're gonna make that little fall off thing. That's why we need this. So if it's less than 170, negative 170. So if the Y position, let's go here. Y position is less than negative 170. We're gonna broadcast another message. We're gonna name it die. So the player is dead. If any of those conditions are true. And then we're gonna get another if then statement. So if if the G player uh, dead is equal to yes. So if the player is dead is equal to yes. So we're gonna get the G player dead. Detection of the player's dead is equal to yes. Then we're gonna wait a 0.1 second and then we're gonna reset the player. So 0.1 seconds, reset the player. And then we're going to broadcast start game. Start game right there. Okay. So now we're done with this. Um, we need a, for this to receive die. So I forgot to zoom in a little bit. So now I zoomed in. So you have a better look at it now. So now we're going to do something else. We're going to receive. So when I receive die, uh, when I receive die, we're going to set the G is player dead to yes. So G is player dead to yes okay so now i think we can move on to the spikes so let's go to the spikes so for the spikes we can add some more spikes for each level actually no let's work in the green flag first before we do the spikes but now as you can see when you touch the spikes you go back to the beginning as you can see so yeah now the spikes can actually kill you so yeah, let's go into the green flag and work on the green flag instead. Now, okay, so for the green flag, we're gonna make some of the similar code as the spikes. So we're just gonna drag and drop the place clone at X, Y. Let's drag and drop that to the green flag. And then in the green flag, we can also drag and drop this when I start as a clone into here. We can also drag and drop this as well and this. We're, of course, we're gonna have to change some of the code up. Okay, so as you can see, now we have this. We can take this out because we're gonna work, we have to do different X and Y positions. So let's start coding in this block. This is the block in particular we're gonna code for now. So we're gonna get a forever loop. So I did this in the costumes where I made two green flags. So what I did is I used the converted to bitmap, cut it like that. And then after cutting it, I flipped it horizontal, uh, vertical, and then I made two 
um, uh, costume, so then it looks like it's uh, waving, the flag is waving around. So that's what I did, so we're gonna do forever next costume. And then we're gonna wait 0 0.2 seconds. So if you do not have this, you can either download one from online, or you can just get it from our Google Drive in the description in the, uh, below. Or you can make your own if you'd like. So this is the moving, the flag waving or whatever. And then in the beginning, we actually want to hide this thing. So when green flag clicked, we want to hide. Okay, I forgot to zoom in again, but now you have a clear look at this. We're gonna put this right here. And we're gonna hide. Okay, and now we're gonna position this somewhere else. So let's go to the setup code right here. So we're gonna get an if then statement. If level is equal to one. So if the variable level is equal to one, then I'm gonna place a clone like right here. You can drag and drag the flag wherever you want it to be. Maybe right here. So I'm gonna get these positions. So place clone at um, 208 and negative 107. So those are the two um, positions I have. So yeah, you can do any place you'd like, but I just like dragged it somewhere on the right side. Okay, so now for the player, now you can see it. And I forgot to do one thing. So before we um, end it, uh, before we try it out, I actually tried it out and there's a bug right here. So you have to put the hide and set the X to negative 9999. So we want to move the original green flag off of the screen. So X to negative no, 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 no. okay like something like that okay so there you go let's try it out as you can see the flag looks pretty good when you hit the spikes you die obviously and when you touch the flag you advance to the next level of course the um spikes are not done yet because on the next level we have like some of this but the spikes are still there because we didn't change the position so we're going to do that and um, for the next level, what I did was just like some of this, just a tree. I got a tree from the sprite library, and I put a platform. And and we put some of these things in the description, so like you can download them if you'd like. So let's go back to the spikes. Let's go to the code. And then for the spikes, we also have to do the same thing. We have to do hide and set the x to negative nine 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 nine. Okay, something like that, okay? And then for level two, we're gonna probably place the spikes maybe right here. Um, this is just a random thing I just did. Um, I didn't actually do this in the actual thing, I don't, I don't think. But I'm just gonna do it, because why not? So let's just do that. So we're gonna duplicate this, put that. So this is gonna be level two. We're working on level two now. So when level is equal to two, we're going to place a clone at wherever this place is, 138, and then 44, as you can see right here. Oops, accidentally added an extra 4. Okay, so this is the spikes, and then we can also add the green flag at the end. So we're going to show the green flag. So I'm going to give you one last look at this. Just did that, and let's go to the green flag. And then we showed it, so then we can move it, uh, probably put it, like, right here. Okay? So I'm gonna put it right there. You guys can put it wherever you want, whatever levels you want. So I'm just gonna move this, duplicate this code, put that right under, put that right there. So if the level's equal to 2, we're gonna go to 212, um, 53. Okay, so now let's try it out. So, save it play it so as you can see let's go to the next level as you can see the spikes are there and then the next level so we we just have to keep on adding green flags on each level so as you can see the spikes are not there anymore because it's not the same level we didn't code it so yeah that's what we have for now and um let's work on the snowflakes like the snow thing so let's work on that okay so for the snow, we're going to make another variable. We're going to name it GWIND, global wind. So what this does is like, so like we can like change the direction of the snow. So we're going to get a one green flag clicked. 
Zoom in a little. Forever loop. Set the uh, G wind to pick random negative one to one. Uh, G wind. Right there, so then we're gonna pick random. We're gonna set it to pick random either negative one or one. So what G wind is like, just should change the X position of the snow. And then we're gonna get a, another one green flag clicked. So we're gonna set the ghost effect to 100 in the beginning. And then we're gonna start making clones after that. So we're gonna set the ghost effect, ghost to 100. And then we're gonna go to like negative 240, Y 240, like in the top left corner. So that's what we wanna do. So we're gonna set 240. Somewhere in the top left corner. And after that, we're gonna get a forever loop. You can like do anything that's in the top left corner. And we're gonna get a forever loop. Uh, create clone of myself. So we played with the numbers a little bit. So we wanna wait a couple seconds, like 0 0.005 so like this is the perfect amount i found is uh, 0 0.005 seconds to 0 0.01 so this is like um how many the delay of how many clones will spawn so like we just put a little bit delay so it looks cool okay let's save it and then let's get, go to control and then we're gonna get a uh, when i start as a clone okay so now we're gonna start coding for the when i start as a clone so we can also make the uh, snowflakes random colors. So we're gonna set the size, set size to pick random, let's say uh, 60, 70 to uh, 90. Let's do something like that. Pick random from 70 to 90. I'm just making up some numbers right now. You can do any number you would like. And then we're gonna go to Oh yeah, and by the way, the snow is in the description below. And if it's just a uh, circle, small circle I drew, that's what it is. And then uh, we're gonna go to pick random, duplicate that. Negative 240, 240, so in the beginning we'll go there. Pick random, negative 240 for the X position to 240. So it'll just either spawn from this corner or this corner. And then the Y is going to be 220. So it'll be on the top, like right here. And then we're going to get a repeat loop. Repeat four times. That's what I did. So like, it'll just keep on ghost effect as it keeps on going down. So we're going to change the ghost effect by negative 20 every time. So we're going to change ghost effect by negative 20 every time. And we're going to get another repeat. Repeat two times. And then we're gonna change the Y by negative five. So it just keeps on constantly going down. Change Y by negative five. And then, and then we're gonna change the X by the G wind, which is right now defined as negative one to one. So like, it'll just keep on moving. So the wind can either push it to one or negative one. So like, it's like, it, lo it looks cooler. Like it makes the wind blow in one direction. So we're gonna do a change X change x by the g wind put that in there and then after that we're gonna get a repeat until loop so like what this is doing um when it's touching a repeat until touching any of these obstacles so we're gonna get a repeat repeat loop repeat until loop sorry and then we're gonna um repeat until it's touching any of these and then we're gonna change y by negative five and change the x by g wind that's what we're gonna do so we're gonna do that real quick so and when, when it touches the things it's supposed to disappear so we're gonna do we need a bunch of ores so put or i'm just gonna put a bunch of ores in here so it has to touch all of these that's why we need a lot of ores so how many do we need one two three four five so we need five because counting the edge we have the green flag the player the main character the spikes, the ground, and the edge. And we can add the trampoline as well, but we're not working with the trampoline yet, but we can still add it. So we're gonna, if touching main, touching, I know this is a bit long of a piece of code, uh, edge, touching 
the green flag touching uh, ground uh, touching spikes and touching trampoline so like you can do something like this okay so like we just put a bunch of ores and all of them into the repeat and so so we're gonna change the y by negative five and then after that we're gonna change the x by the g wind so duplicate that and then we're gonna repeat 10 times if not touching white so like if it's not touching white then we're going to change the y by negative 2 and then we're going to change the x by g wind divided by 2.5 like some so it'll just make a little variety to the wind of the way the snow blows so it's going to be a little bit cooler if not touching touching the color white so white just do this something like that like that touching white then we're going to change the y by negative 2 change y negative 2 and then we're going to change the x Let's duplicate that change the x when a division sign division g when divided by 2.5 okay and then we're going to change the ghost effect by 10 so like when it touches something it'll just ghost away uh, change ghost effect by 10 put that right there oops ghost effect by 10 and then delete this clone once it touches something. I'll just ghost and delete it. Okay, so now let's we'll save it and play. So as you see, there's snow coming down. And when it touches the player, it just disappears. It just ghosts away. As you can see, this is pretty cool snow. So yeah, we have level one and level two finished. So yeah, it's a pretty cool tutorial, uh, pretty cool snow and I think that'll be do it for this tutorial. So if you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.